Hey friends, before we start today's episode, I have an important message to share with you. As you must be aware, due to certain new policies, you are not able to comment on our videos. But don't you worry my friends, you can still share your valuable feedback, comments, views and love at our email ID peekabookidsfeedback at gmail.com. Similarly, you can also visit our Instagram and Facebook page and continue to engage with us. We are looking forward to hearing from you. <laughs> it's not what you're thinking, little kitty. And it's pronounced as Pneumonia, where the P is silent. Pneumonia? Yes, Kitty. Hey, friends. I know, just like little Kitty, you two must have heard about this infection with a confusing spelling called pneumonia. So, in today's episode, let us explore this disease with a silent P and learn about its causes, symptoms, and treatment and answer a critical question. What causes pneumonia? Zoom in! So, what is pneumonia? It is an infection of the lungs caused by viruses such as the influenza virus or flu and adenovirus. Generally, when you inhale oxygen, it goes through your windpipe into the lungs and passes through the bronchi and eventually reaches the air sacs called the alveoli that are surrounded by a network of fine blood capillaries. Here the oxygen passes through the thin lining of air sacs and diffuses into the blood vessel from where it is transferred to all around the body. But unfortunately, sometimes the air we inhale brings some unwanted guests like microorganisms into the alveoli where these guests start to thrive and multiply causing a lung infection we call pneumonia. And when that happens, our immune system gets activated and takes charge of the matter by attacking these unwanted viruses that cause our air sacs to fill with fluid which leads to its inflammation. Because of this, the oxygen present in the air sacs finds it hard to reach the blood capillaries that cause difficulties in breathing and other symptoms such as fever, cough, chest pain, vomiting and in most extreme cases, bluish or grey colour of the lips and fingernails. Also, you might have heard the term double pneumonia or walking pneumonia. If a person is diagnosed with double pneumonia, it means that they have the infection in both the lungs. But don't worry my friends, it does not mean that you are twice as sick as it's very common for pneumonia to affect both the lungs. On the other hand, Walking pneumonia is a non-medical term for a mild case of pneumonia which is also known as atypical pneumonia. But here comes the most crucial question. How do we prevent this infection with a silent P? Because germs often cause pneumonia. An excellent way to avoid it is to keep your distance from anyone you know is suffering from it or other respiratory infections. Also, make sure to use separate drinking glasses and eating utensils. Wash your hands often with warm soapy water and avoid touching tissues and paper towels used by an infected person. Trivia time! Did you know there's no one cause of pneumonia? Viruses are the main cause of it. 
But medical experts have found out that there are more than 30 causes of pneumonia. Also, germs that cause pneumonia often live in your body. Yes, many of the responsible viruses and bacteria may already live in your nose or throat. Generally, your immune system usually keeps them out of your lungs. But if your immune system gets weak while fighting off another disease, the viruses take this opportunity to enter the lungs, causing pneumonia. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. <laughs> Never mind. Hey kids, you liked my videos, didn't you? Before you go, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the bell so you won't miss out on my latest videos. <laughs> See you.